All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of FM22 and the Hall of Famer. Last episode is linked above in case you have missed it, my friends. Make sure you go check that one out and then come back for this one. Um, I did put an update out on Discord and on YouTube. Um, yours truly isn't well again. I've got another cough. Um, I think I got it off of Emily, but um, I haven't really got over the first cough that I had when I had COVID. I've been ill for about six or seven weeks now and it's starting to get really frustrating. Um, but um, yeah, if I don't go crazy in today's video, if anything happens, this is the reason why I've kind of got to look after my voice uh, the, the best I can. So it might be a slightly quicker episode because I don't want to be talking as much, but there's still plenty to talk about, plenty to catch up on. Let's do this. Okay, so first and foremost, we need to catch up on the fixtures and the games that we played since last episode. Now, um, obviously, spoiler alert, if you if you uh, didn't see last episode and you're sticking around for this, we had a couple of really good wins last episode. Um, a big one in the Champions League against Real Madrid, then a 4-0 in the league. Since then, been a little stop-start, but um, I think the form's gone... Um, as we probably would have expected. Um, it started with a 1-1 draw against uh, Rapid VM. Um, you'll see they went 1-0 to the good, but Prince Obama, he popped up with the equaliser. Uh, we played uh, Juventus at home in the Champions League, unfortunately on the end of a 2-0 defeat. They have a very, very good team, and I kind of expected this to happen. We did have a few chances, but um, just wasn't our day at the office. Then we came up against Warsberger, 1-0 win. Uh, Leif and Madal, the man with the goal. Then we played our third round cup tie, 3-2 win. Uh, you'll see that um, we had Tommy Boy score, they scored, then Stanislav Lukat scored, uh, and then João Montero, and they grabbed a late, late goal in the game. And then we came up against our rival Stam Grass, and it was a 2-0 win in the game. Baptiste and Leifa Madal, the men with the goals. And as a result, it's left us in a pretty good position. Now, the Champions League... We knew that was going to be tough. We are going to be playing a game today in the Champions League against Juventus, but we knew that group was going to be tough. Um, Shakhtar topping the group might be a big surprise to everybody, but I've looked at them. They've got some really good players. Like I do feel like they could probably compete with Real Madrid and Juve to tr take one of those spots uh, in that group. Um, and this is because... The game evolves, you have to understand that. You know, we're in the year 2027, so we're five years on than we are in real life. So the game does evolve, and you, you, but I think a lot of us forget that when we do these long-term series. Um, and then as far as the league's concerned, uh, you'll see 11 wins, two draws, really good goal difference, 35 points. We're four points clear of Red Bull Salzburg, and we have the top goal scorer, top assister, um, one of the best... Um, uh, uh, sorry, um, best average rate are one of the best assisting. We got eight clean sheets for our keeper. It's just been a really good season to this point, to be honest with you. Um, really, really enjoying it. And uh, we're just going to see basically uh, how long this can continue. The only thing I'm a little worried about because I'm enjoying the league and I'm kind of enjoying building um, building this this club is just the way the reputation of the league is nose diving season on season. Um, so. That's going to affect us when it comes to winning league titles. They're going to be worth less points, basically, on the Hall of Fame list. Um, and that's something we really could do without because we're kind of using this league as a springboard to get our Hall of Fame going, um, first and foremost, after winning uh, the league last year. But also, we're kind of using it to try and get to a bigger league. But I don't know. I don't know how long we're going to be able to kind of stay here because of the um, state of the sort of league's reputation and whatnot. But anyway... Let's not hold off any further. Let's play some football, shall we? Um, I'm obviously going to go with our more defensive tactic for this game. It is Juventus away from home. Uh, really not expecting much from this game, but anything can happen, as we see last episode with the game against Real Madrid. Um, so, yeah, we'll just go into it with the hope of maybe trying to take something out of it. But we're going to go with Montero in goal, Stanev and Havlik at fullback, Baptista and Tadosa are going to play centre back, Radomir's going to come in, play defensive midfield, For Wayne and Kingsley are going to partner each other in the midfield. Christensen left, Nikolov right, and Madal, who has 18 goals in 16 games, will play up top. Okay, my friends, here we go. First game of today's episode. It is against the Juventus. And uh, I'm just hoping for a, a positive result, basically. Um, yes, come on. Um, the, the end of the day, whatever happens, a win or a draw... And this group stage is very much still there for the taking. Uh, we might be bottom of the group at the minute, but um, three points could change all that. It's a very, very tight group. 
uh, at this moment in time. So I'm just going to have to wait and see what happens, basically, gang. But the game <clears throat> is underway. we just got to see what we can, uh, what we can manage uh, from this one. Already beat Real Madrid this season. Uh, it is our sole win in the Champions League group stages at the moment. But... Uh, you know, you never, you never know what can happen, my friends. You just never know what can happen. Um, not much going on in the opening 15 minutes, though. That does have to be said, doesn't it? A um, bit disappointing. But uh, it is uh, what it is, as Baptiste picks up a yellow card in this game. Um, hmm, that's not good to see. Really, really not good to see. We don't want anyone getting sent off. It's been a bit of a non-affair, hasn't it? Not one highlight to speak of in this first half. But at the same time, I'm not really going to moan about this because it's Juventus at the end of the day. We've just got to be uh, just got to be solid at the back and see what happens. And at the minute, the spoils are going to be shared as we are trucking on in to half time. And I am just going to say that our shooting needs to be a bit better because I don't think we've registered a shot on target. No, we didn't. Just two shots in that first half. So, actually, it really was a lacklustre affair from us. But Juve didn't really do much more as the goal kick finds its way all the way up the pitch. Radaby, that's a great ball into Medal. What a great block that is. I'm trying not to get too excited because of, uh, because of my voice and my throat. I really don't want to end up with it um, any worse than it already is. But there we go. That's a ball out. That's well defended. Oh, Christensen looked like he was going to take that in. Instead, though, Havlik, Radaby, into Medal. Good hold-up play. Radaby again, into Medal. Get in there. Medal rounds the goalkeeper. It's 1-0 to Graza. And just that one little fist bump and a little bit of energy from my voice, and I can feel it's gone already. Um, we just need to do all of the usual stuff uh, to make sure. If you can hear seagulls, by the way, I've just had to crack the window. It's um, it's quite warm in my house. <laughs> yeah, apologies if there's any background noise. Um, get in now. We'd be up to second in the group. With just two games to go. Unbelievable scenes. Um, let's just do all the usual on that player as well. Um, Borislav Nikolov hasn't had a good, good game. Uh, I'm going to make that change now. Sugawara is going to come on. It's a good change to make Sugawara anyway because he is more he's quite a defence minded player. Christian Oh, what a save! He's been put in the back of the net by Kingsley. Is this offside? If it's not, it's another real turn up for the books. <coughs> no, it's offside. Of course, I'm not going to get that lucky. Um, 20 to go. I can feel myself really needing to just cough. Let's get this game done. And then I can have a moment to myself. Juve, though, on the football. Oh, I've got... I will definitely take that out because it was a horrible Chesney cop there. It's out here to Juve. Oh, it's a good save. A really good save from Montero over the crossbar. Corner comes in. Headed out. Are we going to deal with it? Yes, we are. 15 to go. 10 to go. I'm clock watching. I'm not even paying attention to the game. I am clock watching at the minute. I want to get this one done and dusted. Over and out. Aravadurchi is what I want to be saying. Just a few minutes added on. I'm going to go defensive now. Literally just shut up shop for the rest of the game. Um, and I'm going to waste time as well. There we go. Done. Literally a couple of minutes. Should be all she wrote. Come on, get in there. And once again, we've done the unthinkable in the Champions League. I don't know. I don't know. We couldn't beat Shakhtar in the first game of it. 
and we, we've dropped points against Juve, and then we've got to beat and Real Madrid and Juve. I, don't, I just genuinely don't really know what to make of this group stage in the Champions League. It's, it's, it's anyone's for the taking when you're going to see at the end of the episode. It's anyone's for the taking now. But um, yeah, we're going to move back to league action. We're going to play SV Ride away from home as well. Um, so it's an away uh, episode this uh, this time around. Last time it was a home episode. Um, and we're going to revert back to our normal tactic. And uh, this is the team we're going to go with. So we're going to go Montero uh, in goal, uh, Havlik and Prokop at fullback, Baptiste and Tadose at centre back. Uh, Kings is going to partner in Bama in the midfield. Christensen left, Sugawara right for Wayne through the middle and Madau up top. It's now time for some league action gang as we take on SV Ride who are as you can see in terrible form apologies my friends by the way for the coughing during the course of the episode I can't help it I'm as I said at the beginning not a very well man at the moment but um you know videos ain't gonna make themselves are they I feel a lot better than I did at the beginning of the week um I will say that much I was on death's door <laughs> in true um, overreactive man status um, that's where I was but Dow though corner comes in and that's going to be cleared out I didn't know what was happening there it was bobbling around all over the place as Prokop brings the ball forward to those Mbama Kingsley Christensen this is good Christensen goes past his man he cuts it back come on lethal Madow lethal Madow Come on, get in there. He is class. He has cost us no money, gang. Remember, I said it before, at most he's going to cost us 425k, which, honestly, when you look at his goal return, his mentor as Christensen cuts that ball out. He's not going to go past people. That's not really his game. That's a ball over the top. And that's a good save from Montero. Yeah, Christensen... Um, really should have kind of stopped and started again he, he doesn't go past people that's not what he does but 15 gone the one shot it was on target it went in it's all that matters at the end of the day Havlik into Kingsley Sugawara Baptiste Mbama Tadose all the way over to Prokop now into Sugawara. He slides in. Lever Madau. He makes it 2-0. Get in there. Brilliant ball from Sugawara. He has been an astute addition as well as uh, Yukonari Sugawara. He is so consistent and just absolute mustard most of the time. Loving his work. Um, Christensen's taken a knock. Okay, let's take him off. Let's not take any chances. We're 2-0 up. And cruising, if we're being very, very honest. I just can, I know uh, SV Ride have had chances, but but um, we just seem a bit more clinical in front of goal at the moment. And as I say that, they do come forward. That's kind of bounced off the midfielder there. That's a good ball through. I think he's onside, gang. Going to demand more straight away, but he that was a good run. Yes, it was a good run. I was watching it, and I thought, yep, yeah, he's definitely onside. Bang onside there. And, um, yeah, just as I was saying, we're kind of dominating the game because we're more clinical. They slide one through and score, of course. Curse of the commentator. It's always the case, isn't it? Always the case. Um, we're nearly at half time though. And then we can take a look uh what we need to do. Right, let's um let's kind of get into the team, I think, a little bit. Let's see what happens. Tommy boy's come on, he's not really doing too much, is he? Kyle for Wayne, he's struggling a little bit up top as well. But Havlick with the throw into Kingsley, receives it back. And that is going to be a sending off. Yes, David Dickman comes on. Um, I'm going to not bother because the change doesn't really um, affect a position that I need to worry about too much. But ball comes in. Oh, well. They're going to give a penalty for something that didn't even look that bad, aren't they? Yes, of course they are. Um... Ten men, it don't matter. They're going to be 2-2. No, they're not. 
Oh, yes, they are. Okay. For Wayne, for Nikolov. Didn't really want to play Nikolov because he didn't have a good game last time. And we're going to go attacking as well. Kind of been left with no choice but to go attacking here. Um, Tommy Boy has come on and done absolutely nothing. Which isn't good. 20 to go. And it is still even Steven. Kingsley or uh, Lucevic and I'm going to go to more support option in midfield I'm going to just throw some players on attack because I need to get players up the pitch Medell's actually on a hat trick imagine if he goes and grabs the goal secures the hat trick wins the game it would just be pure Medal magic. You know, very attacking. Uh, do I wanna do anything else here? Yeah, I think both the wingers, I'm going to have to go attacking on the wingers as well and just see if that helps us. Literally, that all the players in our final third should just be on camped with the way things are. Havlik throwing into Nikolov. Ball comes in. Get in there. I'm um, going to go back to attacking. I'm going to leave it on attack just because they have got 10 men and um, I'd still like to get another goal, to be honest with you. But Sugawara pops up with a header. Beautiful. Beautiful work. Here we go. Corner. Ball in. Headed out. Tadosi is going to get there, though. Taking his time about it, but he's going to get there. And then, that hasn't really worked, has it? Oh, no, no, no. Ball over the top. Yes, goalkeeper. Thank you very much. To Dose. Into Mbama. Into Nikolov. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. That's a lovely cross. Oh, it's a good block. It's a really good block in the end. We're going to have another corner. Ball in, good header, saved by the keeper. There's literally 30 seconds to go. Um, I would like to think the game's tied up, but they've won the header there. Always a worry. That's, they're so OP, the strikers, with their heading ability this year. don't know why. Here we go, come on. See this out, see this out, get it done. Referee should be blowing up. And as the baby cries in the background, we've won the game. Okay, my friends, so that brings today's episode to an end. Um, not a bad episode, but, uh, you know, that was a bit touch and go, wasn't it? <laughs> that game there. Um, but, yeah, not a bad episode. Um, found the back of the net again. I'm a bit worried about the two goals we've conceded in the game against Ride. But, um, yeah, I guess we'll just bring this back for... The Shakhtar and Red Bull Salzburg game. I think that makes perfect sense to do. Um, um, we should still have a chance, basically, when we come back for that Shakhtar game, win, lose, or draw against Real Madrid. If um, if I'm doing me, uh, if I'm doing the calculations and whatnot right, um, it will just be that we might have to rely on other teams, basically. But um, we will see. We we will just have to see what happens but yeah i can play a few games then and we'll come back and then that's a big game that is the red bull salzburg game so um i think it makes perfect sense to kind of do those and combine those as um, an episode take a quick look here um you're going to see like i say it's there basically it's there for any of the teams can still top the group that's what's mental about um about our group this season um so it's actually pretty crazy. I can't actually believe I'm sitting here saying that we could steal top of the group if we were to get, like, say we got a draw against Real Madrid and then we beat Shakhtar in the last game. That wouldn't be the worst um, the worst result, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, that would be probably dream scenario. But then if they won, I, it's still there for anyone to take, isn't it? Uh, but, yeah, it is, it's wide open, basically, gang. Um we are top of the league, as you can see. Um, it's uh, it's looking all right. I believe Salzburg might have dropped points because wasn't it four points before? Um, and uh, six points now. So 
Yeah, I'm not sure. They must have dropped points in their last match week. I don't really keep an eye on the other teams. I just keep an eye on what we're doing. Uh, but as you can see, though, the two clubs at the top have pulled out already a massive lead on LASK and Sturmgratz. So, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty crazy stuff, my friends. And before we leave, look what job has become available. Hmm. Do we apply for it? Do we take a quick look? West Ham and see what's happening with them, shall we? 17th in the Premier League. They're clearly not having a very good time of it. Um, still got some pretty good players there. Got Jared Bowen still. Nikola Vlasic. Um, Neymar. What? What on earth? 35-year-old Neymar playing at West Ham. Okay. Um, they've got uh, Tommy Suchek still there. Declan Rice. Declan Rice is still at West Ham at 28 years of age. That's pretty crazy. He always moves on. Whenever I play football manager, always moves on. He's been really good, hasn't he, as well? Hmm. Oh, my God. They've got the uh, Velociraptor in goal. The T-Rex. Little arms, aren't they? Jordan Pickford. Um, Kurt Zuma's still there. <laughs> um, yes. That might be worth a little try, mightn't it, gang? But would it? That's the thing, would it? Are we in a better position with Graza than we would potentially take over relegation threatened West Ham? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it is a dream job scenario. <laughs> And so there we have it, my friends. We're done and dusted for another episode of the Hall of Famer. I'm leaving it on a little cliffhanger there. Do I apply for that West Ham job? I'm really not sure. Like I say, I feel like Graz are maybe in a better position than West Ham are at the minute. If you go to West Ham, you're looking at a rebuild job, aren't you? Um, but it's Premier League money and it's a league with a better reputation. But I would imagine that might even be our last job because I don't think, unless I got sacked, I don't think I could see myself ever leaving West Ham. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure at the minute, but we will see you next episode. If you're new around here, though, my friends, be sure to drop me a subscribe on the channel. It'd be very much appreciated. It's the best way to support it. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it as well. But until the next one, I salute you all. Stay safe, stay humble, and I will see you real, real soon.